Hey guys, Hassan here back once again and this time we're not in the UK, we're somewhere quite exotic, we're in Tunisia, North Africa to be specific, the town I grew up in, Monastir, and here right now I'm filming in the house I grew up in, Hey, <laughs> my parents home, my dad's home, El patron, el patron. <laughs> so what we're going to do is I'm going to take you and uh, show you around um, Monastir. I'm going to show you some beautiful parts of Monastir, uh, some of the scenery, some of the beautiful things that happened around Monastir. Um, and I'm also going to show you the ugly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, both. I'm going to show everything. Authentic Monastir. All the traffic, the people crossing the road, the crazy craziness of everyone, the anarchy, you'll see it all. Um, so yeah, let's go on a let's go on a little adventure guys. And um, yeah, hope you enjoy. Hey, <laughs> welcome to Tunisia. <laughs> والكذب ياسر والغدر ياسر الكذب ياسر والغدر ياسر يا دنيا شيء عجيب يا دنيا شيء عجيب مظلومة يا دنيا وحنا اللي تغيرنا وحنا اللي تغيرنا لزاتنا الأيام تعانينا وتكبرنا تعانينا وتكبرنا عشقنا الذهب والماء في العشرة ما فكرنا مظلومة يا دنيا وحنا اللي كثرنا أفعال مرة منها الصغار تشيل قداش سالت فوق الخدود دموع قداش فيها من بشر So here we are, Monastir, Monastir Town Centre. It's a really windy day today, although there's a light, last bit of sunshine. But I brought you to one of the most iconic places in town. Um, it's where uh, a lot of the uh, iconic places, iconic buildings of Monastir are. Um, and we're going to go and have a little walk around and see a lot of it. Um, but as you can tell, it's pretty beautiful. It's a bit of cloud today, but there's some sunshine, a bit of cloud. It's, it's a nice part. And um, we get some really nice weather. Um, but it, although it being winter, you know, it's 15 degrees here. <laughs> so we're going to start right here. And this is Burkiba's Mosque. It's a pretty, pretty beautiful mosque. Quite a big mosque. Um, Burkiba is uh, Tunisia's first president um, and uh, he's a very important uh, man in Tunisia. He, uh, he ma practically managed to get the French out without any shots fired when they were occupying um, and there's a lot of buildings in, uh, in Monastir in his name and uh, this mosque particularly right here is uh, one of them. What a good mosque. Um, so this is one of the first iconic buildings inside the, 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 the walls there's an old wall that runs all the way along um, and this one is just right on the edge so uh, our first iconic spot we give us mosque um, we'll go on to some of the parts in a bit I'm gonna walk down a uh, market street <laughs> you guys are gonna see how much I'm gonna get harassed now um, practically everyone is gonna want to sell me something <laughs> Um, it's pretty funny. Um, I then talk to them in Arabic and they all get a bit confused. But here we go. There's our lovely mosque. So just on the side entrance of the mosque. Um, going to be respectful and I'm not going to go into the mosque and actually film inside. Although um, I think I can. But I, I don't, I don't want to do that. Um, I'm just going to be respectful of this holy place. Um, and we're just going to film the outside. And then we're going to head down into the Medina. 
Um, we're in, right inside the old city here, the old town. And we're just going to have a walk down uh, where all the shops are. Um, and just let you see hey, oh, the first fella trying to sell me something. Arbe, hoi, arbe, and so on. Document there, hoi. What did I tell you? Watch this. Every single one of them going down the street is going to try and sell me something. But it's, uh, it's a pretty iconic place. Salamu alaikum, hoi. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, they get a bit stumped when I talk to them in Arabic. They're like, oh my god, this guy doesn't look Arabic. He's speaking our language. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, this is, uh, as you can tell, some very traditional buildings, but most of it is just bazaars and shops selling stuff. Um, this one here is a pretty well known one, it's like a big superstore. And you've got little alleyways. All the way down there. We're going to have a look and walk down the whole lot, really, and see what we can see. Um, all sorts of memorabilia and souvenirs of Monastir. So this is a pretty big store here. If you're after souvenirs, you come to Monastir, come to the Yasmin Centre, like, boom, my goodness. Anyway, I'm not after modern stuff. I want to show you the traditional Monastir. So we'll keep going down here. I'll show you some more of these uh, Medina, old school. Yeah, I absolutely love this part of town. Although, if you do come down here, like I said, you get harassed by salesmen. But um, it really gives you a taste of what what the town used to feel like and look like in the olden days before it got modernised and technology got introduced. But yeah, loads of arches. There you go, somebody else trying to sell me something. <laughs> it's so funny. Well, for some tourists, it's quite they feel quite harassed, but these guys are just trying to make a living, you know. Anyway, let's keep going to the end of the street and let you see some of the sights of uh, authentic monastery. Bonjour. Bonjour, Asahbi. Oh, and so are the Asahbi. Oh, and so are the Baba. Alright, so uh, let's go and have a look. We've got the end of the street now. Um, what we'll do is we're we'll going to have a look at um, a pretty, pretty old building. Um, so some dude just says he's going to show me how he makes traditional carpets. Let's go and have a look. Up some stairs, I think by the looks of it. No, no, it's down here. So we just got invited into a bazaar. Oh, here we go. This is how they make their carpets. way together four slowly after like this on one puff two puff three and then we cut it up noise uh, by noise noise by noise thank you, for thank you very much Shahabi and Zoom in Lee. 
لو ترضيت ولي لي صاحب لو ترضيت ولي لي صاحب وش في الغليل يا نجوم الليل 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 اسغى يا نجوم وتبعني انا نحكي وانت سمعني هو اللي صار ايه كان ولف حذا يمتعاني في لحظة بالاسباب بوجعاني وانجر الدار اي مخلاني وانجرني يا نجوم الليل والعشرة انساها وانكرني so now we are next to probably the most iconic building of Monastir, the Ribat of Monastir and its famous tower. So this is one of the symbols of the town, it's used in the football crest, it's used everywhere in the, the municipality, the council. Um, it's uh, one of the, uh, the symbols of the town and um, it's a building that was built in uh, 796 it's a, over a thousand years old and it's pretty much intact absolutely unbelievable building uh, it was built by the uh, muslim conquerors when they came and conquered north africa back in uh, yeah 1300 years ago um, and it was the first of its kind to be built uh, like this um, one thing you guys will know uh, is uh, the life of Brian, Monty Python. That was filmed here, this castle. Um, and uh, believe it or not, my father is one of the extras in this movie. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's go and have a look around it. Uh, we've got, well, I'll try and go up the tower actually. Yeah, let's go and have a look up the tower. It might be really windy up there, but it, the view's unbelievable. Um, so let's go and have a look at that bit. رغم شجا ربو فيا وهز عيوني ورغم شجا ربو فيا ومبركة يا لبنية ومبركة جا محلها والحلقة فضة والحرجة نمواتها وسعد ما جا جا للجهة نعطي مالي واللي هون عليا مباركة وهز عيوني ورغم شجا نبو فيا رغم شجا نبو فيا وهز عيوني رغم شجا نبو فيا مباركة يا لبنية ويا جمالي ويا جمالي جالي الصحراء يا جنى جلال الصحراء وسايس روحك لا تسيجيني بك نحرة في غريجيني الصحراء ويا طول حمي ولنسوق نور ضحية مباركة يا لبنية وهز عيونك رغم شجا نبو فيا رغم شجا نبو فيا وهز عيونك ورغم شجا نبو فيا ومباركة يا لبنية ومباركة محلها والحلقة فضة والحراجة نمواتها وسعد ما جانا للجاجة نعطي مالي واللي هو جنون تسحر عيني ورباني تسحر عيني ورباني تسحر عيني وشفرة سلمواتي وخياني تسحر عيني وربني تسحر عيني وربني تسحر عيني وش فراس المواتي وخياني تسحر عيني كرباني وتسحر عيني تسحر عيني وش فراس المواتي وخياني يا بنت الناس جذب وما فيك نحاس ويا بنت الناس ويا ذهب وما فيك نحاس وتا 
تاجك عرس وما يلما أشيل نبيك وخياني تسحر عيني ورباني تسحر عيني ورباني تسحر عيني وش فراس Okay, back on the other side. I apologise the wind again. It's going to be really windy. You're going to hear a lot of wind today, but uh, it won't take away the beauty of this place. So um, I'll tell you a bit more about Burgiba and uh, this place we're going to now. So this is situated right in the middle of uh, the town's cemetery, where everyone's buried, and they go up. Uh, and um, um, like I said earlier, my grandparents are just over there. Um, my aunties, uncles, all the family. So Burgiba is Tunisia's first president and he did a lot for the country. He modernized the country in a way that was really radical in the Islamic world at the time. And I tell this to people really, um, if you would take a scale from zero to 10 of the, uh, if you say the most extreme Islamic country is Saudi Arabia, we'll give it a 10. Well, Tunisia is the zero. It's right at the bottom, the other side of the scale. It's liberal. And it's all down to people like Burgiba who brought loads of, um, modernized thought and modernized administration and education and all that um, and um, he brought, built hospitals, schools, transport network, trains and especially for the town of Monastir. Monastir got a lot without Burgiba we wouldn't have anything really um, and one of the things he did for himself, he didn't keep anything he's, uh, he's got a little house in the town centre and this is the only thing he kept which is this mausoleum where he's buried. It's quite grandiose. You give yourself a burial place like this, you kind of think of yourself a bit of a pharaoh. Um, but you know what, oh, us uh, from Monastir in Tunisia, we think he deserves it. Uh, God bless your soul. Um, and yeah, it's got a really long promenade. You see, I've been walking for ages. It goes all the way back. it's closed off and even if I could get in I, I, I think I'll be hesitant as to film in there just being respectful um, but yeah um. managed to find a spot with loads of sun and no wind, well very little wind. Yeah, so this is the entrance to the marina. I'm gonna, gonna go through that and I'll show you some boats right. in the marina. Okay, the winds. Um, it's really full at the moment actually, I've never seen it with so many boats in it. Um, loads of yachts from all over the world. It's pretty big really. But, um, I mean, a lot of places have marinas but uh, we're quite lucky to have a really beautiful one. Here. Loads of restaurants, It's quite a nice spot to come to, to just walk around when everyone goes out to town. They usually come down here and then you've got these pleasure boats, you guys know those, it's a sort of thing. Um, and this marina was literally built on the sea. 
There's a peninsula over there, sorry, an island that is, is now connected to the peninsula thanks to this marina. Um, but before it was completely separate. Uh, you can see the dam, see? Um, and now it's connected uh, thanks to all of this. Um, yeah, it's quite beautiful, really. Marina Monastery. I hope you can still hear me with all this wind. I'll have to check, <laughs> look at the videos later on. Um, and let's move on to somewhere else. See you in a bit. Ridushi sarak, yakrahna shlaf dalm. Ridushi bodis yadi fi wahdam. Ridushi zabal marwah farhan min khidm. Ridushi ra'is fi Tunis farhalum. Ridushi sarak, yakrahna shlaf dalm. Ridushi bodis yadi بردي حسرة المركة أنا حسرة الأيام السمارة أمني طويت لنصى يجيب الفلوس يعمل سيارة يمشيني مع الفيكة سوي روحني مع الحجارة كلها لباسة وكلها سهارة وتقول لي كيف أش فلوس الشعب تروح يخسارة مرت وتخرج علي أنا عنده قمة الحفارة يا 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 هذي Oh boy, oh boy, there's so much I want to show you. I'm not just, I'm just not impossible to do. I don't, can't squeeze it all in. This place is just unbelievably beautiful. Um, we're right next to the municipality or the council as we know in um, Britain. Um, one of the reasons why there's a lot of trash and a uh, little less maintenance being done is because these guys, they're underfunded, undermanned, not enough money, not enough support. And uh, what ends up happening is trash gets left around and then it's also down to the people, the people. It's like the broken mirror effect, everyone sees somebody throwing something and everyone just follows. But luckily we have beautiful spots like this which are kept quite nice. And uh, yeah, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is the Wilaya which is uh, sort of um, so it's divided into states a bit like America if you like and this is uh, the head of the states of Monastir. Um, that's the council over there. And again we got a statue here, you can see it. Burgeba when he was a little boy. Another statue, there's a lot of uh, memorials and things um, named after Burgeba here. Oh there's my neighbour, she just waved at me. <laughs> um, Schools, hospitals, airports, yeah, a lot of it. There's a, there's a lot to remembering this guy. Quite an important dude for people in Monastir. Um, I think I think I'm gonna have to finish here with town really, because otherwise this video is gonna go on forever and ever. Um, and I've, I hope I've given you enough of a snippet of uh, of where I grew up. Um, that might entice you someday to come and visit Tunisia, because you know the economy is based on tourism. Um, and um, you know all that terrorist stuff it really wrecked the economy it harmed so many people you know flights from Britain not coming anymore um, so we really want to encourage people to come back here people are really friendly things are pretty cheap compared to Europe um, lovely weather lovely beaches sun shines most of the year um, and uh, there's so much history, so much history, you know, Tunisians don't realize what they've got under their feet. I'm telling them to look after their heritage, you know, because um, this is what people want to come and see when they come and visit the country. And Tunisia is like an open book museum, you know, there's just stuff everywhere, all the way back to the Roman times, back to old Carthage. Yep, yep, yep. So, if you ever do get the chance, get yourself on a flight, come check this place out. It's stunning. It really, really is. Hey guys, I'll see you in a bit, eh? Ciao!